nearly. You don't have time to be lounging around at the park, Bonds. I'm trying to pre-input my direction for this intersection here. So I can't remember if that is a stop sign or not. I know these ones aren't, and that's a straight shot back to LPD. Dun, 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 dun. We're back. And let's proceed straight to Lieutenant Morgan's office, see what he wants. I think the opening sound effect is different. That's different. But I think the closing sound effect is very similar. Lieutenant Morgan, how are you doing? You wanted to see me, Lieutenant Morgan. Yes, I need you to review some evidence from the Hoffman case, Bonds. Check out the black notebook for clues about this man and his activities, and run an ID check on the gun. There's something very strange about this case. Think you can clarify the picture, Sonny? I already ran the ID check on the gun, dude. Maybe I don't even need... No, but we told the judge um, he was Jason Toselli, and that is, you know, the reason why we got the warrants. Check out the black notebook for clues about this man and his activities. I'm scared of clicking here, so I'm just going to wait. I'll do my best, sir. Well, how about it, detective? Hey! He called you Detective. Yes, sir. Oh, this game sometimes. All right. Can I just show him this lovely printout that I got off the printer about four or five hours ago due to the scum VM problems? No. Sonny, what are you waiting for? Get to the evidence room immediately. Hmm, I wonder if I've sequence broken this somehow. If I hit another game-breaking glitch where it's like, no, you've already done this, so you can't proceed, I think I'm just going to give up on this playthrough entirely and just move on to Police Quest 2. Incidentally, I've done about five minutes of testing on Police Quest 2, and that game is going to be an ordeal. I can't say any more at this point. All right, are you still on your donut break? Hey, guy, what can I do you for? You're not. I need to check some evidence, Russ. Unless you're on another one of your two-hour donut breaks. Smart ass. What's the case number? That's a very good question. What is the case number? We didn't have to give him that information last time. Huh. What is the case number? Um, just looking at my notes. All right, I assume I have to give him a piece of information because I can't actually do anything here. Can't give him the wanted poster. Can I give him the file? Ah, there we go. That's what I did last time. I just couldn't remember. All right, I'll start with the revolver. It's not a revolver. I'm sorry, it's an automatic. I'm Australian, so I'm not terribly familiar with guns. 97649, I've got that written down. We're not getting any more information about that. Let's take a look at the notebook. Hold on a sec, guy. Phone's ringing. 
Hello? Yeah? Yeah, I know. I know. I'll take care of it. I said I'd take care of it, Ma. No, don't worry about that. I won't. Yes, I ate them all. I'm a growing boy. She's not a gold digger, Ma. Jeez, I make cop wages. She is not. And I don't want to meet Miss Murray's daughter. Come on, Russ. I've got a real life to get back to. <laughs> okay, Ma, I will. I've got to go. Okay, Ma. I'm sorry. I love you too. Bye. Don't worry. That's not how I talk to my parents. I'm much worse at this. Uh, anything new here? Again, those initials. There's nothing new there. I do want to have a look at those other initials though. What are the other initials? We have RG. Because I can look these up in the police computer, can't I? That is Hotel Delphoria. That is not an initial, but I'll write that down anyway. What else we got? Dealer RO. Not sure if that's someone. JM and LW. I mean, LW could be Lonnie West. But really, we don't know. Robert G. That was the first set of initials. Rassy Bob and Big Jim. Terminate those two. Sunday poker with JB. Who is JB? Ah. Nothing there. Gutless Wonder. GW. And the Ominous Plan 3. I can go back upstairs and look up the gun. But the thing is, the gun's just going to tell me about Jason Toselli, isn't it? And then when I look up that number, it's going to give me the most wanted thingy, which I've already printed out. Maybe Laura will have some insights on the situation. What you got for me? There you are, Sonny. I came by to tell you that when you're done checking out the case evidence, Lieutenant Morgan wants to see you. Okay, I'll be there in a few minutes. I mean, I'll check this out again, but I really don't think there's much that I need to do. Is there anything under to Sally? No. I can't think of anything to do here other than do what I've already done, which is... Look up the weapons here. Uh, 97649. We've already done this, but maybe something different will happen now. Yep, just says FBI file here. Why would you have the gun registered in your own name? That just seems like amateur hour. All right, having another look at this, 60321. I'll print it again because why not print a second copy? But that's really all we can do here, I think. What about personnel? So, RG, do we have an RG on staff? We do not. Do we have a Roberts G on staff? We do not. HD, we don't have anyone. RO is not someone here. But look at this. We've got an LW. And we absolutely have a JM. That's kind of terrifying. The 
the printer hasn't printed anything. Therefore, there's nothing to take. You goddamn liar game. There's a wanted poster printout in the tray. Also says it's old and slow. But it was hyped up so much before that. Um, yeah, that's... I guess that's a bug or an unintended scripting error. They can have multiple objects which are exactly the same and that causes a bit of a bug. Yes, sir? You asked to see me? Oh, hello, Sonny. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about Marie Wilkins. You possibly know her as Sweet Cheeks Marie. Yeah, I didn't tell her about Operation Trick Trap, I swear. Yes, sir, I know the young lady. She evidently knows you, too, and thinks rather highly of you. Anyway, she's been arrested for soliciting. We'd like you to approach her with a deal. We're going to be starting an undercover operation at the Hotel Delphoria. We want to infiltrate the narcotics ring by way of the illegal gambling that goes on there. We know Marie Wilkins has connections at the Delphoria. We think Marie Wilkins, you can just say Marie, dude, can get us in there. In return, we'll do our best to get the charges dropped. I need you to go to the jail and discuss this with her, Bonds. Give her a minimum of information. We don't want her endangered, but we think she can help us. Any questions? No, sir. Okay, then. From what I hear, she'll probably cooperate with you, Sonny. Rumor has it, she's stuck on you. I, I guess I'd better get going, sir. Good idea, Sonny. You're not sure, but you think Lieutenant Morgan is suppressing a smile. Wouldn't surprise me. Can I really not show you this poster? Hmm. All right. It looks like we're proceeding directly to jail. I haven't actually tried entering the jail with my gun on my person other than that time we arrested the drunk driver. Or was it to sell you? I don't remember. Let me just see if I can get in here. Are we going to get chewed out for this? Gee, Sonny, do I have to see that ugly mug all day? Just keep away from mirrors, Paul. So where's the prisoner I'm supposed to visit? She's right there, dude. She's in one of the cells. I hear she's an old flame of yours. So, have you and her performed nature's mystery dance? Not yet. Well, you just think about it on one of your lonely Saturday nights, Paul. Thanks for all the great info. That guy proves that evolution hasn't been 100% effective. 
So has about 50% of the population, but we can't say that out loud. Sonny, I'm sure sorry I didn't listen to your tip about the sweep. You've got to help me. I'm afraid I pressed my luck one too many times. I can't afford this bust. They're going to put me up in county this time. Sonny, those women are scary. I'm not a hardcore criminal. I never hurt anyone. Yeah, you made people happy. Isn't there anything you can do for an old classmate? Possibly. The department's been investigating the Hotel Delphoria, trying to gather enough evidence to move in. Right now, we don't have anything that'd stick. You might be able to help. My boss, Lieutenant Morgan, has a plan that he believes will get us close to the main dude, someone they call the Death Angel. This guy's the worst of the worst in the highest order of social parasites, Marie. He is not only sucking the blood of society, he's spilling it. Great line. Want to help? Will it get me clear to these charges? I just can't go to jail. I can't guarantee anything, but Morgan and I can talk to the prosecutor on your behalf. Just between you and me, I think the odds are in your favour. You'd be doing the department a major favour. But that's just between you and me, right? I'm not guaranteeing anything. So, what do you think? Okay, Sonny, it's a deal. Great. I've got to head back to the station. A car will be sent by shortly to pick you up. I'll see you later. Whatever you say, Sonny. Thanks. You're puzzled by a strange, warm, and fuzzy sensation after your conversation with Marie. Easy, boy. You've got to concentrate on the business at hand. Anything less than 100% can prove fatal. Alright, thank you for the assistance. Can I shoot you now? Right, well, we didn't appear to get told off for that. But I don't want to take any chances here, so what I'll do is I'll just load and cut in. We'll go through that conversation again, and I'll grab the gun out of the locker. Alright, let's grab that. I'm very surprised we didn't get pulled up for that. We absolutely would it in the first game, regardless of whether we had a prisoner with us or not. Alright, so I assume I have to go back to LPD and have the briefing with Morgan. Eighty-three thirty-two. Please proceed directly to Cotton Cove. We have a report of a possible eleven forty-four. That is all. I don't know where the entrance to Cotton Cove is. It's right here, though. And eleven forty-four is a fatality. I can see the PDF on the right-hand side of my screen here, so I don't need to old tab to show you that. It is definitely a fatality. Yeah, this is Cotton Cove here. Cotton Cove, a small alternative park and annex to Burt's Park. There we go. Similar entrance to the park directly above. Hey, Sonny, what's up? I hear you found a dead guy the other day. We have one too, so there. Police humour. Mike always did have an odd sense of humour. 
Well, let's have a look around. A good sized stream runs through the cove. He used to fish for crawdads here as a boy. You recognized us. You, we, oh no, that apostrophe. I'm trying to turn my whole apostrophe thing, thing into a meme, but that is terrible. You recognize that. You, we are driving one just like it until your temporary promotion. Jesus Christ. We've seen that one before, and you know what? That's a very hard sentence to read, so I'm not going to read it again. It's Officer Mike Shannon. It's Officer Todd Ballou? What do you reckon, chat? Balu? Borlu? Balé? I don't know. These trees have grown in the cove for as long as you can remember. Looking at all the plants that grow in the cove, you try to imagine Lytton before it was a city. You wonder if the whole area was this green and beautiful. The spring rains have things around here a little greener than usual. Outcroppings of rock show here and there where stream erosion has stripped the earth away. Yeah, this is a lovely little place. This is Cotton Cove. You touched the tree affectionately, wondering if this was the one you carved your initials on in the sixth grade. You feel a brief pang of guilt. Were you able to reach them from here? You'd find them to feel very rock-like. There's more than a little poison sumac in the immediate vicinity, Bonds. You should concentrate on adversaries more intense than crabgrass. Don't mess with someone else's units. At least, not without their consent. Absolutely. A dip in the stream would be refreshing, but there are more urgent masses at hand. Alright, I suppose we need to look at the body, don't we? The poor guy is pretty seriously dead. You wonder what happened to him? Man, I'm not feeling so hot. Officer Shannon, Mike Shannon, doesn't feel like talking right now. I wouldn't get too close to him if I were you, Bonds. Yeah, he's going to vomit on us. Hey, Todd, what do we have here? Dead guy, Sonny. What's the matter? Something wrong with your nose? We got an anonymous phone call about him just a few minutes ago. It sounded like a kid. Poor little guy was probably out riding his bike and came across this. Bummer, huh? Yeah, poor little guy. The way the kids in this town have been acting lately, I wouldn't be surprised if the kid offed him with his slingshot. Damn. <laughs> he was probably looking for bubblegum money. You guys are twisted, you know that? Hey, if I wasn't making jokes, I'd be barfing my heels. I hear you on that one, bud. Investigate if you're gonna, Sonny. The coroner is coming for this dude any minute now. Officer, something is busy. Can we talk to the corpse? Wouldn't you have been freaked out if he'd answered you? Absolutely. That would be great. Alright, let's examine the corpse. You lift the sheet off of the body. He's looking pretty bad. You guess he's been in the river for a day or two. Oh well, it could be worse. He could have been a week or two. Damn. We're just going all in here. Dramatic sting. The dead man has a tattoo over his left nipple. It appears to be a red rose. You carefully replace the sheet on the body. You're not going to show it to me, eh? So who is he, dude? Do you have any idea? He's very grey and waterlogged. You feel the contents of his stomach slowly rolling around. The dead man has a tattoo over his left nipple. It appears to be a red rose. Might have freeze frame that later and resolve to see exactly what it looked like because the game didn't show me. I think it might be Tuscelli. I can't be sure though. It's totally him because no one else has a red rose on their nipple. Think so? Nothing like a solid opinion. Thanks, Sonny. Yeah, thanks, Sonny. We'll inform dispatch. 
speaking of, I haven't been using my radio terribly much. Alright, I don't think there's actually anything else we can do here. See you later, Sonny. Yeah, pleasant dreams, Sonny. <laughs> later, you ghouls. Jesus Christ. I mean, all we had to do was just look at the body ever so briefly. That engine startup noise. All we had to do was look at the body very briefly. We didn't have to actually fish him out of the water and wrap him up in a sheet. We got off easy. making the long walk back to Lieutenant Morgan's office. The office is occupied. Hello, Lieutenant Morgan. Nothing to say to the other guests in the office? Damn, Sonny, that's not appropriate. Ah, there you are, Bonds. We were just getting ready to discuss plans for the Delphoria operation. I believe everybody has been introduced, so let's get started. Actually, that's fair. We all know each other. That's fair. Bonds, you'll go to the hotel in disguise using the name of Jimmy Lee Whitey Bankston. I think that's the same name, isn't it? Whitey is definitely the same. Bankston rings a bell. Marie Wilkins will have already been there for several hours, socializing in the hotel bar. When you reach the hotel, you will rent a room, then go directly to the bar. Okay, rent a room, then go to the bar. Don't go to the room. Once there, you'll socialize with the bartender. You should buy a drink or two, but I don't have to tell you to keep a clear head. Marie will introduce you to the bartender, Alexandra Parker. That's new. Whom we suspect of facilitating the illegal gambling. If all goes well, you'll get yourself invited to a private poker game. Once you've infiltrated the game, discover what you can about the narcotics ring and the identity of the Death Angel. Be sure to report back to me with any important findings. Think you're up to it, Whitey? Just one question, sir. Why is my nickname supposed to be Whitey? Uh, are you not just impersonating someone else and that was their nickname? Heh. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask, Sonny. Here you go. A bottle of extra strength peroxide compound for bleaching your hair. Guess it, Whitey? Why can't I have a beard instead? I'm afraid so. What's the rest of my costume like? It's behind you there. Oh, it's this white high roller suit hanging on the coat rack over here. Pretty tacky, actually. <sighs> Joy. You'll look perfectly tacky, I'm sure, Bonds. Any questions, Miss Wilkins? No, sir. Yes. Yes, I do have a question. Alex Parker is my friend, Lieutenant Morgan. I don't want to throw it to the wolves. What's going to happen to her after this operation? Tricky. It's kind of you to think of your friend, Miss Wilkins, but you do better to look out for yourself. Actually, all we suspect Alex Parker of is facilitating an illegal gambling operation. That's not a tremendously serious charge. 
If she cooperates with us, things will probably go easier for her. But will she go to jail? I honestly don't know, Miss Wilkins. That's the best answer I can give you at this time. Are you reconsidering your offer to help us? I... No. Lieutenant Morgan, I'll do it. Just promise me you'll do your best by Alex. I'll do what I can, Miss Wilkins. Why don't you head over to the hotel now? It's getting late. She'd better not tip her off. All right, I'll see you there, Sonny. I'm going back to the NARC room. I've got a lot of work to do. Sonny, just put the peroxide in your hair and leave it there for a few minutes. It's pretty strong, so don't leave it there too long. Otherwise, we'll be calling you Baldy instead of Whitey. Why is this really necessary? Do they think it's just because they'll recognize our face and our hair? That's really the only reason I can think of. Honestly, though, I'd much prefer a beard, just saying. Sonny doing the gentlemanly thing there? Are we going to get the call to come back in here afterwards? Yep. You better get started, Sonny. Go to the locker room and get changed. Don't forget to bleach your hair. Come back here for a quick final briefing before you leave for the hotel. Yes, sir. Oh, Lieutenant Morgan? The dead body in Cosson Cove was Jason Ticelli. Well, I can't say I'll cry over him, but that means there's somebody worse out there. Go on, Sonny. Maybe we'll catch him in the Delphoria operation. Goodbye. Oh, look at that icon. He's got the frigging leisure suit, or whatever you want to call it, slung over his back. Hair dye. I bet you never thought you'd be using this stuff. Of course, you probably never thought you'd be using a blow dryer and hairspray to keep that fine do in place. Touche. I can't believe the icons actually changed here. That's some nice attention to detail. So I don't know why I'm looking up there when I get out of the elevator instead of just right-clicking through the icons. I'm going to have to come back down here, I think, and replace the radio. We have sound effects in here. I'm not sure if I like them or not. Alright. Tal. You hang up your hustler suit. Be glad to be rid of it. It's your horrid whitey disguise. Uh, where are our street clothes? They've magically disappeared. So, uh, how do I use this stuff? Also, I should be making some more save games. Do I use it on myself here? No. Let's get in the shower. I've got no control here, so hopefully Sonny will use it by himself. No mention of it whatsoever. I don't approve of that look whatsoever. Okay, there's our street clothes. Let's take that. You change into the disguise. Oh god, it's a leisure suit. You also find a wallet containing the undercover money you'll need. A towel. We don't need the knife stick, unfortunately. We don't need the ticket book. Holy Christ, we look awful. It's your wallet. I'll bet you wish it packed a little more heft. It's not really our wallet, it's the company's wallet. Uh, the radio has magically teleported over here. I wonder what Dooley would say if we walked into his office like this.
Is he just going to laugh at us? You don't think Sea Agent Dooley is in the mood for chit chat right now? I mean, I shouldn't be whinging about this because I nearly failed English, but you know. Uh, the icon has actually got the wrong color hair on it. If you go back and look to the locker room, it was a blonde haired icon, but it's now switched back into the standard black haired icon. We can't win them all, I guess. All right, I'm going to make a save here. Let's call it briefing or whatever, because this is really, I think, the last opportunity we have to do things inside the police station. How do I look, sir? Hello, Lieutenant Morgan. What do you think? Am I convincing? Very. Your own mother would have to look twice. How do you feel? I prefer a beard. Pretty good, sir. I'm ready. You have to be ready, Sonny, and wide awake. You'll know you have to go in without a weapon or a wire. If those men were to catch on you're a cop, they'd kill you in a heartbeat. Understand? Yes, sir. I do. Dooley. Lieutenant Morgan? Yes, Sergeant. What can I do for you? Jack Cobb. I'm afraid I have some terrible news. Officer Jack Cobb's daughter, Kathy, died in the hospital about an hour ago. Apparently, she never woke up. My God. Thank you, Sergeant Dooley. I appreciate your letting me know. You've spoken to Jack, yes? Yes, sir. We should speak to him as well. Sonny, I think the importance of this operation is obvious to you. These men are killing innocent kids. They have to be stopped. Remember to keep a level head, though. Rage will only get you killed. These people, if you can call them that, are not to be trifled with. Be forced to check in with me after you've made contact with them. Yes, sir. I'm going to get them. You can be sure of that. Good. Head on over to the hotel, Sonny. Don't let this distract you. Easier said than done. Let's go, Sonny. You can't space out. It could cost you your life. I don't have my gun. I wanted to try shooting you. All right, let's go to our office. We have one phone call to make. And we were asked to make contact with Lieutenant Morgan. So we need his phone number. No game, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not even once game. Oh, that's shocking. Uh, I can't actually make a phone call here to call um, Jack Cobb, which is what we did in the first game. It was one of the points that I missed. If we get into a situation where we're at the Hotel Dolphoria and we have to um, call Lieutenant Morgan using the number that we got from the computer and we can't use the computer now, that is a load of hot rubbish. Let me make another save. And let me just load to... Uh, where are we going? Here, perhaps? Yeah, let me get up into the narcotics office and play with the computer very briefly. I'll meet you there. Alright, I'm here playing with the computer. Personnel. Morgan. Just going to write down this number. 555... Three seven eight four. I would also like to write down Jack Cobb's number in case I can use a phone inside the Delphoria. 
7627. Yeah, if I need these numbers and I can't access them on my current save game, that is a load of hot rubbish. That's all I can say. All right, let's head to the Hotel Dorphoria. Check in and maybe we'll never leave. So it's going to take me some time to get here, but this is possibly the last time I'll be driving, so I'm not cutting this out. I thought that was the same stuff, Stein. Clearly I'm on the wrong street. Uh, we just totally ran that stop sign. Has the game bugged that's just showing the word stop the entire time now? I think it might have. I can't accelerate through the intersection, but... The thing is, I think I have to slow down for this, because if I don't, I'm going to get creamed. Alright, let's turn left here. I assume the entrance is once again down the bottom, so... Okay, we're going to a complete stop here. We'll turn right and then left. Stop signs are everywhere. What the hell? All right, we're not slowing down for this one. Yeah, I reckon that's glitched. Either that or it's just decided to increase the difficulty because this may be our last excursion on the roads. game's like, oh, you forgot about the 15 mile per hour rule? We're going to remind you in the harshest way possible. Alright, hopefully I can turn right here. If not, I'll be turning right somewhere else. Enough of the music already, please. We are at the Hotel Delphoria. No doorman this time. Nice maroon overhang, as maroon overhangs go. Yeah, it looks fugly as hell. The sign says Delphoria. This is the semi beautiful, outrageously expensive Hotel Delphoria. The sidewalks in front of the Delphoria are sparkling ribbons of pure white concrete. They look great to me. It's the driveway. This is where the valet would take your car and park it for you, if you were staying at the hotel. But instead we're just parking outside. It's the mat that triggers the automatic doors of the Hotel Delphoria. Are these really a thing? Big plate glass windows open onto the Delphoria's lobby. Stunning Art Deco doors. 
Alright, I need to get inside there. Just walk up. They're automatic. We've got to get rid of this music now. <laughs> 